Have you ever been asked to find primary research articles but weren't sure what was meant by that? Or maybe your professor said that you couldn't use review articles but didn't explain what those were. Never fear, this short video will review the differences between primary research and review articles with examples so you can be confident in knowing what you need and what you found when searching in the databases. Please note that this video is most useful for articles in the sciences and will use examples from biological sciences. Other fields, especially those like history, have very different criteria for primary research versus review articles, and you should talk with your instructor if you have questions in those areas. First, let's talk about the differences between primary research articles and review articles. Primary research articles report original research findings from experiments and studies. They'll include a methods section explaining the experimental method used and include a results section detailing the experiment. Often you'll see a section on the study's hypothesis as well. Review articles summarize, analyze, and critique existing research, i.e. the primary research studies on the given topic. These review articles can be on a more general topic than that of a primary research article. For example, whereas a primary research article might be studying the effects of marine pollution on a specific coastal community in the Bay Area of California, a review article may summarize research done on marine pollution on coastal communities in general. Review articles often do not include a method section or state that their method is a type of literature review and most helpful when looking at titles of articles while you search, review articles often have the word review in the title. Now that we've looked at the characteristics of the two types, let's look at two example articles so you can see the difference in how the articles themselves look. First, let's look at this article, California Tohi Vocal Duets are Multifunctional Signals for Multiple Receivers. Let's look at the title first. There's no mention of review, so it may be a research article, but we can't stop there. Let's see if there's a method section. So we're not to a method section yet, but look, here's a table of the study's hypotheses. This is a sign of a primary research study, but let's make sure by checking our other criteria. There is a material and methods section, definitely a good sign that it's a research article. Let's see if we can find a results section. Yes, here's the results section. We've met all our criteria, so we can say that this is a primary research article. Now let's look at another example. This article is titled Terrestrial Ecosystem Functioning Affected by Agricultural Management Systems, a Review. This is a good sign it is a review article, and note that the journal even has tagged it as a review above the title. But to be thorough, we should check for our other criteria. Looking at the abstract, we see that the authors state that it is a review looking at various aspects of the current research, including looking at research gaps and suggesting future research, which are ways of analyzing and critiquing existing literature. Looking through the rest of the article, we can see that there is no method section, but there are sections discussing different topics in recent research, which we can see here. After checking this article, we can say it is a review article rather than a primary research article. I hope this video has helped you in understanding how to recognize primary research and review articles. If you have questions, remember you can always ask your instructor or a librarian for help. Thanks for watching and good luck with your research.